The reason that there is such a void of male role models for young men is because we literally do not have adult males in our population anymore. What do, I, what do I mean by that? There's no adult males. Like, there's grown men everywhere, but they're not actually physiologically adult human males. They're not. I'm going to teach you guys some fun shit. So in uh, biology, there's this thing called neoteny. It's essentially... An organism will retain juvenile traits as it ages if it doesn't get stressed out enough, okay? If you live in an environment that's too, like, easy, you don't actually develop adult characteristics. I noticed this when I was in high school. I grew up in a very affluent area. And when we went to our grad night, it was at Disneyland. And we went with a bunch of inner city schools. And everyone I was with realized that all of these kids looked like adults, they looked so much older than us. And so, yeah, because they were in a more st stressful environment, which caused their adrenal glands to upregulate, which caused higher testosterone levels, which made them literally adults. It made them adults in a way that we were still juvenile. Every organism has multiple phenotypes it can have, all right? Your phenotype's dictated by your genes, but what dictates which genes get expressed is your environment. The best example of this is pigs. So domesticated pigs, the pink ones that you all know and love, that's, that's one phenotype. It's not even their healthy phenotype. You take a uh, domesticated pig, you release it into the wild. After six months, you have a feral boar that has grown thick, curly hair and tusks. Why? Well, being in the stressful environment causes its adrenal glands to upregulate, increasing testosterone production, causing it to take on a different phenotype of a boar. Another example of this is with wolves and foxes. If you start to breed wolves and foxes and you select for more passive traits, their adrenal glands get smaller. As their adrenal glands get smaller, they develop floppy ears, curly hair, and spots, all things we find in, in domesticated dogs. All right, it's all based off the, off the adrenal glands. Look at the population right now of adult men. What do we got? Men have never been fatter with lower testosterone. Men have never been fatter with lower testosterone. Those are both juvenile characteristics. It's because they're domesticated. Most people are domesticated. So why do men have all these juvenile characteristics? It's because people are domesticated animals now. Most human beings are domesticated animals, especially if you live in the United States. A domesticated animal is an animal fed by humans, taken care of by humans in order to get economic gain from them. What do you fucking idiots... <laughs>